Let's talk about opportunity costs and comparative advantage. Comparative advantage just means that countries should specialize in trading in things that they have the lowest opportunity cost. Absolute advantage is the, produce, the ability to produce the same good um, using fewer inputs than another produ producer, or in other words, you're more productive than the next best or the other producer. So let's assume to illustrate this. Let's assume we have the U.S. Let's assume we have Canada. Let's look at cars. Let's look at computers. The shorthand computers are just COMP. Let's assume that the U.S. has an absolute advantage uh, in uh, cars and computers. We produce everything more productively than Canada. So let's say that's 20. Let's say this is 40. So if we're more productive than Canada, so instead of 20, let's put 5 down here. And instead of 40, let's put 20 down here. In other words, the U.S. is, what, four times as productive in producing cars, four times five is 20, two times 20 is 40, so we're twice as productive in producing computers. Well, now let's calculate the opportunity cost, because remember the opportunity, or rather the comparative advantage is producing at the lowest opportunity cost. So opportunity cost of one car. And let's look at the opportunity cost of one computer. So, looking at cars. In this case, if we produce 20 cars, we give up 40 computers. Well, an easy way to per, per car is just take, what, 40 divided by 20, divide both sides by 20. There's several other ways of doing it. And that's going to give you opportunity costs of producing cars is, each car is two. Uh, in Canada, what is it, 20 divided by 5. So every five cars they produce, they give up 20 computers. So the opportunity cost per car is going to be 4. Oops, I said 50. need to change that a little bit, don't I? There, 20 divided by 5. That, make sure you get your numbers right, otherwise you're going to miss the problem. That looks a little better to get four that way, doesn't it? Well, just the opposite. Well, if it's opportunity cost of one car is two in the United States, four in Canada. Well, in that case, it's going to be one half is the opportunity cost per computer, and one fourth is the opportunity cost in Canada for one computer. So which ones are smaller? Well, it looks to me like four to versus two. Two is smaller, so lower opportunity cost. And Canada. So Canada should specialize in producing computers. U.S. should specialize in producing cars. In which case, you're producing at lower opportunity cost. You're giving up less so that both countries are going to be made better off.